Let's look at uh, time and space. So we'll first talk about seasonal needling and point selection. So this is a, a section from the, sorry, one second. Okay. This is in the Nanjing. This is the 65th difficulty. It says, <clears throat> and I, I, we, I mentioned this briefly, right? Where it emerges are the wells, where the qi comes out, right? This is chu. Chu means to come up and out, to exit, really. Where it enters are the uniting. So where it ru is the he, where it comes in is the uniting point. That's the he si point, the he uniting point. What pattern is that? It is like this. Where it emerges are the wells, means the wells are the east in the spring, the beginning of life for the 10,000 things. Thus it is said, where it emerges are the wells. Where it enters are the uniting means, the uniting are the north and the winter, where yang qi enters into storage. Thus it is said, where it enters are the uniting. In the next chapter, the next difficulty, it says, the classic says, and uh, the the classic is supposed to be the Neijing, but that, actually the Neijing doesn't say this, right? It's, it's, it's not a real quote from the Neijing, but here, as we get the idea of what it says, it says the classic says in spring prick the wells, in summer prick the the brooks the the ing spring points, uh, in late summer prick the the streams the shoe stream points, in autumn prick the channels or the Jing river points, and in winter prick the unitings. What does that mean? So in other words, what it's saying, and I'll give you the summary chart in just a second. It's saying that. Spring, we go to the, the Jingwell points, and eventually winter, we the, the hook points. And again, I, like I said, I'll bring you the summary ch chart in a sec. However, what the Neijing says is different. So let's look at what the Neijing says. This is a great chapter. It's chapter 44 of the Ling Shu. It says, uh, Huangdi asks, I hope to hear about the Qi of the Four Seasons. Chibo replies, spring engenders, summer flourishes, autumn harvests, and winter stores. This is, this is it's a shi Qi Zhe Changye. This is the constant of Qi. Then it also says humans also respond to this movement. One day is divided into four seasons. The morning is spring, noon is summer, sunset is autumn, and midnight is winter. Then it goes on to say, the same chapter, Zhang are governed by winter and winter pierce the Jing well. The colors are governed by spring and spring pierce the Ing spring. Time periods of severity and weakening of disease are governed by summer and summer pierce the Shu stream. The tones are governed by late summer and late summer pierce the Jing River. The flavors are governed by autumn and autumn pierce the hook points. Okay. So we have a bit of a, a discrepancy. And here's, here's the summary. Um, here's the summary chart. So this is Ling Shu and the Nanjing. In spring, you can see the Jing, Ying, Shu, Jing, He goes with this tracks of the season. So wood, wood, fire, fire, soil, 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 etc. Ling Shu, it's we're one season off. So one of the things we uh, we can see is that in many ways, I would encourage us to think of this really as an aspect of how are we moving yin and yang in the five phases. Let me give you a couple other short quotes. This is um, from the Inshu, the Inshu, the Inshu is the book of pulling. It's actually the earliest monograph that we have in Chinese history on uh, Dao Yin, which is essentially Qigong. Uh, and the second quote on the, here is from Ling Shu 44. In the in the the book of pulling, it says in in spring birth, in summer grow, in autumn harvest, in winter store. This is the way of Pengzu. Pengzu is the the, like the guy who lived for 800 years. And then in Ling Shu 44, it says, Chibo replied, spring and gender, summer flourishes, autumn harvests, winter stores. Same basic thing, same characters, almost slightly different, but similar. This is the constant of Qi. So we just saw that quote. So here we have this idea, right? This is the, the cycle of, of nature. Spring, and these are the characters for birth, growth, harvest, and storage. Spring is giving birth. Summer is flourishing, autumn harvest, and winter stores. So when the, this is again, where we have to read things figuratively. It's not just literally. When the Neijing says in winter, needle the Jing well points, right? That's what it said before. Ling Shu says in winter, 
needle the Jing well points. It, and it also says that could we, and we can extrapolate this time of day. So winter is midnight. So at late at night, needle the Jing well points. This doesn't mean we have to take it literally. So some people will say, oh yeah, so a person comes at this time of day, you can needle Jing Yingshu Jing He based on the time of day. But maybe it's really not that. Maybe it's, again, yin and yang. How are we looking at yin and yang? What do the Jing well points do? If we see them as wood, they means we it brings things up and out. That's why it says the Jing well points, previous chapter we saw from the Nanjing, is where things exit, things coming up and out. The he points, the word he means to bring in. So he here is tang, means storage. He brings things in, right? Distal is yang, proximal is yin. If we want to give the body a stimulus that says it could get everything moving, then we needle the more distal points. If we want to give the body stimulus that says, okay, come things, bring things back into a state of, of holding in, then we need to give the, the body stimulus of yin through other categories of point. So when the when the non-jing says in spring needle the jing well points, but the nei-jing says in winter needle the jing well points, it's the same thing. It's just looking at it from what model. So clearly jing well points give the body stimulus says, okay, here's springtime. Wake up, springtime, it's morning. The Ling Shu is basically giving us a pathology model. So it says in winter, needle the Jing wells, because winter means we're in a state of storage that's pathological. So winter means the disease that looks like winter. So we're basically saying the same idea slightly differently. So the reason why in winter we needle the Jing wells is because Jing wells pulls us out of winter when we're stuck in winter. Get the idea? Okay. So time of day with points, this is the same idea we saw with the zone one and two to get things moving more and zone seven and eight to bring things more into a state of, of hibernation. We need to figure out what the patient needs in terms of movement of yin yang in five phases and apply treatment appropriately.